So back to the Dead Space Guide, impossible difficulty, getting the one gun achievement for only using the plasma cutter throughout the entire game. How much is that achievement worth? You're 40 to... gamer 40? score? Wow. Yeah, I just looked it up a couple seconds ago, I remembered. So, <clears throat> if you came through this area before, you might have noticed that this elevator was locked and then you had to go complete an arbitrary objective and then you come back and it's unlocked. It's just the game's kind of way of... Um, hurting you in the right direction, I guess. So, making an open world seem linear? Mm -hmm. well, well, closing the world. Well, not... No, it's it's making a linear uh, game feel more open. Oh. And then, if you press down on the right stick, I believe it is, um, it gives you this little line that tells you exactly where you're supposed to go. So, it is open, and when you get like to the later part of the level when the entire thing is open and none of the doors are locked you don't get completely lost and it's very easy to figure out where you're going that's cool so but it's also kind of like um, a cheap cop out so you can you, you can you use the uh, direction button even on the hardest difficulty yeah to, like to tell you where to go unlimited amounts of time oh. and it doesn't you know it doesn't solve any of the puzzles for you and it doesn't you know do anything for you, just points you in the right direction. So, it is kinda cheap, I guess, but it's certainly not, uh, you well, know, I mean, a like, game shouldn't it's, it's not, be annoying. Right, oh, right, I mean, and it's supposed to be this dark, creepy environment, so it can be easy to get lost sometimes and not know where to go next, so... It certainly helps out a lot. One strategy that you will uh, definitely be employing throughout the game is first shooting out an enemy's legs so he falls to the ground, and then freezing him with the stasis module so he doesn't move very fast, and then running up to him and stomping him to, to conserve ammo because, man, it's I've only recorded the first level so far, and compared to the medium difficulty, you know, it's not that much harder but it's becoming an ammo crunch already. So I'm kind of worried for the end of the game when there's like big bosses and shit and like just hundreds of enemies running at you. Whether or not I'm going to have enough ammo to shoot them all. So yeah, you're going to have to be super efficient with how you use your ammo. Oh, there's also... Um, I'm recording this on the Xbox 360, but there is... It, there's an Xbox 360 exclusive and I believe also a PlayStation 3 exclusive suit that you can download for free um, from their respective marketplaces and on the Xbox 360 it was like a super power suit it has maxed out inventory maxed out armor and it's free in the in the in-game store and I will not be using that just as an added challenge I guess um, it makes it much, much easier just to use that if you're getting stuck, because upgrading your suit in the game costs a lot of space bucks. Stomp them out. Oh shit, you gotta remember that sometimes the enemies will uh, fake their death, so if you shoot out one of their legs and they fall to the ground, they're most likely not dead. Better start better keep shooting them because they're just like if you try to walk up on them, one of them and stomp him out because he didn't drop any ammo or anything yet uh, he's definitely not dead so he went upstairs got like a key card or something like that and of course you backtrack and there's another alien that jumps out from where you just were so there's a lot of um, I don't know, what would you call that moment, like, um, trip line moments, like you walk over an invisible line on yeah. the ground and an enemy pops up? Mm -hmm. Alright, there's a lot of trip line moments where you cross an invisible threshold and shit hits the fan. So that guy, oh, he is dead, I only shot off one of his limbs. 
Is this a game where you can run past enemies, or do you have to kill them all to move <clears throat> on? Um... I don't know. I haven't really tried. They're... It's kind of hard to like run away from them because they're so fast. Like if you try to run away from them and run up to a door and try to open it and get away, they're going to fuck you up real bad when you're trying <laughs> to open that door. So, no, it, not a good it, it hasn't even been worth it yet. Yeah. So this is the first upgrade bench. And I have two power nodes right now. Uh I am always going to try to keep one power node on me for unlocking doors that require a power node. And my first priority is going to be getting all the damage nodes for the plasma cutter. Because, you know, it obviously conserves ammo if every shot does more damage. The other upgrades on the plasma cutter, wow. So that guy was just faking death right there. And I was stomping on him, and he still got up and fucking clawed me to death. Anyway, whoa, whoa, god damn, I'm getting fucking scared just watching <laughs> these videos. Um, oh, I completely lost my train of thought. Upgrading the plasma cutter. Uh, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is try to pick up all the power nodes, uh, or the damage bonus nodes for the plasma cutter. And then I'm going to try to get all the HP nodes for the suit. And then I'll probably put some into the stasis module and the... You get like a gravity gun later on in the game. And you can throw shit farther with that. Cool. True. True. True.